when I'm in the club, all the girls wanna try Ooh, Long straight flexing, no stressing, I'm the king of the gang From coast to coast, you know that Alright. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Thor Bird Gang. I'm back with another video. Hold on. No, no copyright music. Turn that off. Art. My bad, Joe. I should have did that before we started. I ain't gonna lie. But with that being said, we back with another video, man. You know, y'all, 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 um, y'all been going crazy. Not gonna lie to you. Listen, we got a lot of stuff planned. I ain't gonna lie to you. So look, I know y'all been uh. I think y'all want another Arkham video. Y'all gotta run it up for me then, cause I, you know, last time I ain't think y'all wanted it because you know y'all was, y'all wasn't messing with the video for real. Um, but we finna try this other Batman game, and I ain't never played it. I ain't gonna lie to you. We finna see what it's about. Um, and. I'm gonna do another another Arkham video for y'all. We gonna see. We gonna see. We'll, we'll do one tomorrow. So without further ado, I know I was dragging this. Let's get back to the game. Start episode one. We're gonna do episode one. See what's shaking real quick. Purple crazy. We gonna go with that purple, that purple crazy. We love decision based games. What's up with y'all, man? Appreciate y'all stopping in tonight, man. What's going on? Hey, why are you? I ain't gonna lie. That little kick on you scared me. I'm gonna keep it at being low key scared. What's up with y'all, man? Appreciate y'all stopping in. Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. They really did, bro. Move in. Easy though, like they didn't even have to. Get it right now. I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. I don't know. Batman don't need no help. 
not gonna lie to you. Keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. Criminals in this city. <laughs> they need something to fear. No cap. <laughs> Shit! Go. Criminals. Whatever got it. Don't let it get I'm out. I'm gonna lie to you. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come back! Come on! Come on! teach you to knock behind you big boy
out of here. Well, if you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. <sighs> Without a scratch. I don't know so you. far. First, you think she gonna... That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. I do this for the thrill of it. I'll show you a thrill. <laughs> Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Vince is getting me. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. I go to all that trouble for this? Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God damn it! I said don't shoot you! No! Wait! I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Give up! There's no way out! <laughs> Give me some credit.
Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let two. be your family legacy well then time to save the city welcome to Gotham yes sir, yes, sir. thank you <laughs> thank you everyone a humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would... Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Enjoy drinking my wine. It's worth more than most of you. <laughs> no, he's, he's kidding, everyone. <laughs> no wine is that expensive. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together. We will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Relax, it was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What, a chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. Some they want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stick. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent! We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. I didn't even see that. My bad, Joe. This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, a new face for Gotham, hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime. Where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. 
Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman, or whatever it's called. You, you disagree, right, Bruce? I know that look. He disagrees. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city... Oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway. It was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age, it must have been crippling. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, you know, like, that I don't know. deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe, I, well, I don't like to think I about babies. Like, I wish... And I'm sure you don't either. I don't know how people like Well, thank you. I wish my parents could violent. be here speaking with you, too. I, I don't know how I would have handled it. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. <laughs> Call me Bruce. Well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? Ooh. You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Everyone loves the host. You're king for a day. Just a day? <laughs> I would have guessed Bruce Wayne has that feeling year-round. Yeah, well, I take nights and weekends off. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... is that blood? Yeah... it looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh... cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. <laughs> kidding. Do you excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to yeah, yeah. greet this one personally. Make sure y'all go subscribe on me. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Maybe he can change your mind. Normally, I wouldn't associate with a guy like Falcone, but Gotham can't survive another term under Mayor Hill. It'll be all-out war in the streets. A word of warning, Bruce? 
play nice. <laughs> you know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, <laughs> man, all flash, no class. I keep missing, they keep popping up. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. I'm a shanky Bruce brothers. Wayne. I know who you are. The guy is going to sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in, in the, the parlor. Oh, Follow I never me. My, I should have said, oh, I never sell my house to you. I ain't gonna lie, we might have to redo the episode already, you are. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll get a drink or something. Christ! Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But, in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say any will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine, this is me, and these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. If Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. <laughs> now, that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. I know he is not talking crazy to me.
It's me. See what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break-in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians? And in other news, we are now on day three of the factory fire that will not end. Crews have given up trying to combat the blaze at the Otisburg Processing Center, owned by Ace Chemical. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it. They're recommending people avoid the area and seek immediate treatment if you happen to breathe in any of that tar black smoke. And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. The body of Falcone family capo Louis Pistachio Garlone was found hanging off the side of the 4th Street Bridge sometime just before dawn, causing traffic to back up for miles as the cops cut him down. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded Skyrail cars to contend with. Gotham police are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from sort of an ice pick or other pointed weapon no while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been ego. admitted to Gotham general to in critical mayor. condition. He's got so many the police don't have any suspects city, at the time. I think could be good for Gotham, but I have to stay Two more patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum, bringing the total number of escapees from the half prison, half mental hospital to 15 this year. Only three have been caught today, but all the escapees highlight the rough, some would say inhumane conditions at the aging asylum. The latest, 44-year-old twin brother and sister Leon and Valerie Muldoon should be considered dangerous if found. Authorities are asking that you do not approach and call police immediately. Mayor Hill's Gotham Beautiful Act takes effect today. Making it possible for landlords to evict tenants immediately and without cause. The new law was created in order to allow Gotham City's biggest property owners greater ability to modify and improve the city's aging buildings, some of which have been occupied by families for decades. So if you come home from work tonight and find all your stuff on the street, don't worry, it probably isn't anything you did wrong. And if you can believe it, now you can't even trust the valets. More on this after the break. Mayor Hill says he's tough on crime, but since his election, violence in Gotham has skyrocketed. And when he was presented with legislation that would have dismantled organized crime in the city, he vetoed it. Killing Gotham's chance for a safer future. Promotion, so he's doing something right. Maybe that's because the rumors of Hill's connections to some of Gotham's most notorious mafia families are true. We don't need another gangster running the city. We need a crime fighting hero. With over 200 successful convictions, District Attorney Harvey Dent just might be the hero Gotham needs. But he can't save our city alone. He needs your help. He believes that together we can make a dent in Gotham's crime. But it starts with you. Vote for Harvey Dent. 
and elect a real crime fighter to Gotham's mayoral seat. Worst kind of gangster, one who's trying to... I'm Harvey Dent, and I approve this everything, message. Everything, including smuggling, real, uh, real estate, bribery and fraud. I could have Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? To the top of will it be perceived as a desperate Empire attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians? <laughs> And in other news, we are now on day three of the factory fire that will not end. Crews have given up trying to combat the blaze at the Otisburg Processing Center, owned by Ace Chemical. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it. They're recommending people avoid the area and seek immediate treatment if you happen to breathe in any of that tar black smoke. And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. The body of Falcone family capo Louis Pistachio Garmone was found hanging off the side of the 4th Street Bridge sometime just before dawn, causing traffic to back up for miles as the cops cut it down. My enterprises. Established 1870. Random stabbing the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded Skyrail cars to contend with. Gotham police are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition. The police don't have any suspects at the time. Two more patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum, bringing the total number of escapees from the half-prison, half-mental hospital to 15 this year. Only three have been caught to date, but all the escapees highlight the rough, some would say inhumane conditions at the aging asylum. The latest, 44-year-old twin brother and sister, Leon and Valerie Muldoon, should be considered dangerous if found. Authorities are asking- Nearly fell off a building for this? Some of which have been occupied by families for decades. So if you come home from work tonight and find all your stuff on the street, don't worry. It probably isn't anything you did wrong. And if you can believe it, now you can't even trust the valets. More on this after the break. Mayor Hill says he's tough on crime, but since his election, violence in Gotham has skyrocketed. And when he was presented with legislation that would have dismantled organized crime in the city, he vetoed it, killing Gotham's chance for a safer future. Maybe that's because the rumors of Hill's connections to some of Gotham's most notorious mafia families are true. We don't need another gangster running the city. We need a crime fighting hero. Successful convictions. District Attorney Harvey Dent just might be the hero Gotham needs. But he can't save our city alone. He needs your help. He believes that together we can make a dent in Gotham's crime. But it starts with you. Vote for Harvey Dent and elect a real crime fighter to Gotham's mayoral seat. I'm Harvey Dent, and I approve this message. Find out what was so important. Will be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing camp? <sighs> Encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, Catwoman 
tried to steal. Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs. Everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully she's just a tourist. Oh, no, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I don't like being compared to a common criminal. No, I think you're missing the point. You have to admit you've been drawing a lot of attention to yourself, and not the playboy billionaire buys new yacht kind of attention. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though no, I'm not <laughs> partial to heights. <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. This car need that. I thought I saw ours. It's been what? 20 years. Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but... His behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. The one that got away. Complete chapter two of episode one. Where are 
sure he was. <coughs> Bro, over there hacking up like he got the V. Kobe. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. I ain't gonna lie. For this to be a 2014 game, I mean 2016, and the colors pop the way they do, for it to be like cartoony, it would look good. I ain't gonna lie to you. Great. There's the statue, but no eyes. Hey. Beat it! Whoa. I'm gonna need you to relax. I could have gave you a beating. Isn't what it used to be. Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. Bro, what? Hey, you heard him, man. Go ahead. Try and take it. <laughs> the hell do you say? End him! Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh, ruining the moment! Come here! I think that'll do! Uh. Put a gun on me. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Damn. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Eh, yeah, good as new. Just licked his tongue and put that on my Woo, face. that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. <laughs> Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. How your family go broke? Y'all had a fortune? It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. 
He used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnob and parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home, that oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. <laughs> Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. So that's where Penguin came from, because I noticed he was in a uh, sui suicide kill the Justice Squad. <laughs> I don't think I seen him in Gotham Knights though. My boy, uh, Mr. Wayne, over here, man. right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> We didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> But today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood sweat and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. 
who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we create a new face for Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. Are we... All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne. Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. Harvey is the one who invited him. Bruce? Personally, I would never welcome that man into my home. Anyone else have a question? Please, keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father. Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage control's my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Meet the press. Chapter 3, episode 1. This is getting crazy. <laughs> Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. There's gotta be a mistake. That's what we're here to find out. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe you did. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide.
they really just shattered my picture of the family. Bruce, stay back! Take whatever you want! You... you don't have to do this! Seeing your parents get murdered, it's crazy. Bruce? I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, it's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. Yeah, really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Yeah, I Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, okay. the sender didn't identify like themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now. And stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood? That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Huh? Get my boy going. Bruce Wayne. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Yes, sir. Hey, I mess with Vicky, bro. On this game, bro, she, 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 she a vibe. She, she's a vibe for sure. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this, on the anniversary of your parents, not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Mm -hmm. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? It just doesn't make sense. 
I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, he would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. We need to fight back. Hill cannot get away with this. It may not be a war we can win. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Hey, you. Hey. Sorry. I got a no. habit of being late. Oh, my bad. No, no, just oh, no. glad you made it. Who hit her in the face like that? Boy. I hope Harvey ain't do that. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. That's Catwoman! That's Catwoman, y'all! That's Catwoman! I've been showing her around Cause God. Batman punched her in people. the face on the right side. You're an excellent That's Catwoman. guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? It's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now, whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. I'm sure your clients will understand. I doubt it. In my business, people aren't very forgiving. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. Keep the one shot this down explains better. a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. <laughs> Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Someone has to be the good guy. I suppose you think that makes me a bad girl? Well, aren't you? Selena. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. Whoa, relax, Shorty. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. 
Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. She throwing shots and I don't like that. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe she's not as bad. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. I'm gonna lie, this is long for a first episode. Normally, episodes not this long. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Nothing left to bury. exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it but the chemicals themselves were inert not explosive well it appears to have made a pretty big boom i'll see what i can piece back together white rose falcone's calling card He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. No. That bad? Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Skyline Club. This man's been badly burned. But the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? No, that's okay.
Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Well, oh, bro, that's in down case. Not likely. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. 
Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Shredded this merc to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone be leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. The snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands and was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. 
Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. And would have contaminated himself with a phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Trace of phosphorus, though. for a spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. <laughs> Killing time. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. World's greatest detective. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. No, Coney! Why did he do this? I... I ain't telling you nothing! <laughs> you... You can't make me talk! <laughs> I ain't telling you, Jack! <laughs> you trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break! Your bones will. <laughs> <laughs> True what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us, called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. I don't know why I'm breaking my arm. I'm talking too crazy. 
I was wrong. <gasps> Gonna need that ambulance, too. <clears throat> the hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? That man. Bro, he still sees you anyways. That's dumb. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Man, hey. It be that way. I'm sorry, bro. I had to break bro arm. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. What you break Your parents arm? didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. Look, I, I did what you me. had to, but at what cost? We both know how this argument goes. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury You're the a person, good man, Bruce, Bruce but you never bury the Just man like me. your parents. Sometimes don't I wish that. I could. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a that friend, night, the burden of advice way. falls on me. It made me trust who I am. I won't lose my I can't way. get it out of my head. That is your gift. It's and quite understandable to stray from that the path now and again to turn back the tide so long of as you can find your way back the city shores, or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... More than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Vicky showed faith in me. She cares about the truth. She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Vicky through the media, and Batman... By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. <laughs> no cap. We ain't tried, but we fancy. <clears throat> this, this is big. 
You drop a bomb like this, th there's gonna be fallout. That not even Falcone can survive. Why give it to me then? You don't know how much I appreciate it. I need an ally in the press. After handing me something like this? I'd say you got one for life. Never Falcone's only. slippery, but this is enough to hang him out to dry. What this could do for the city, my career, I'm just wondering what the cost is going to be. It'll be worth it. I don't know, Bruce. Falcone doesn't like bad press. If I run this story, I put a price on my head. The next time my name appears in the media, I... God, it might be an obituary. I'll protect you, I promise. Oh, chivalrous, but unnecessary. You're not Batman. I always think... Crime in the city. It's a hydra. You cut off one criminal's head... Three more appear in its place. I know. Unless we kill the beast once and for all. But who's even capable of that? If we don't act fast, that void will be filled by someone far worse. Wouldn't be the first time. Batman's a symbol of hope. And that is better than any army. If Gotham can rally around him, right now he's just a monster of the week. It's a good thing you gave this to me instead of the police. Could end up buried in some evidence locker and not on every screen in Gotham where it belongs. Public attention. That's what brings down men like Falcone. Not a bullet. Though after my story runs, he might get that too. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. And though you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. Thank you for taking my Good point of entry. between the Mafia and City Council. I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. Nothing here. The White Rose. Falcone's symbol. A red rose after tonight. Cameras. The entire floor is under surveillance. You'll be detected as soon as you enter. No time for subtlety. Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. 
Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his alibi. guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Hmm. Couple of options for taking this guy down. Got it covered out. Bruce, have you formulated your plan of attack? I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. How about this one? 
can't sneak up on me! EMP armed. That's gonna work! I'm gonna light up! Oh god! Get your goddamn hands off of my suit! I... Get it! Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid! Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Spare yourself the pain, old man. Yeah, I've been through worse. I'll get you right into a hot dog. The chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The white rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? Yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it ain't a dead best. Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, with that. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead, give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Ha! Gotham! I'll share that. Oh, wait! Ah! Ah, Christ Almighty! Spill it, Falcone! While you still can. <laughs> it's... The wings. <coughs> They're behind all this. What do you mean? You want to save this city? Well, the wings are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years. But after this dramatic arrest and a stunning expose by Gazette reporter Vicky Vale, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about. The Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. 
Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes' time in the sun is ending. That's so crazy. suit a car this entire cave master bruce everything i built i created all of this because i didn't want any more innocent people to die if falcone's telling the truth about my parents then what the hell did we do this for bruce i what have you been hiding from me alfred Episode 1, Realm of Shadows, Family Secrets, Complete Chapter 6, Episode 1. Alright, did you stick up for Harvey in front of Falcon? You and 32 but your players shut Harvey out of the private meeting with Falcon. Did you provide a quote for Vicky's story? You and 85.4% players chose to control the emerging Wayne story and provide Vicky with a quote. Did you break the docks to their arm? You and 40% players Billy broke the docks to their arm and showing that he never held a gun straight again. I ain't gonna lie, that's close, but we had to break bro arm. It was either he was gonna tell or I was gonna be seen. Maybe should I should I should I have been seen possibly, but I think we should have broke his arm. Who did you give the Falcon data to? You want twenty seven points to believe the Falcon data to Vicky instead of Gordon and the GCP? Whoa, whoa, seventy two percent of y'all gave it to the the, the ops, the cops. That's crazy. Crazy work. That's nasty work. How did Batman do with Falcon at the end? You went 82% of the players show restraint and handle Falcon over to the police safe and sound. Yeah. We did fairly good. Decent, 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 decent. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. That's the little clip we're gonna get. Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. That scoop you brought me on Falcone helped me more than you could possibly know. I owe you one. I'm sure Falcone's taken harder beatings in the past. Hopefully, this one knocks something useful out of him. of you. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. I have to distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. Episode one. Episode one. Ain't gonna lie, bro. That episode one was fire. I can't believe I ain't never played this though. Like that was fire, pretty sure. All right, man. Listen, if y'all like this video and y'all want to see more games like this or more content like this, just let me know in the comments below. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, and share. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.